Hey ho squad. Um, you know, multi-generational living is a month is interesting. Uh, so I'm saying that to say I was trying to videotape earlier. It did not happen before the house got started. But um so I am now taping now. I'm video, you know, I'm here now filming now. So if you hear noises, it's you know, just the family upstairs. <laughs> Um, and if the kids sound like they're being, you know, like somebody stabbing them or repeatedly, it's not happening. You know, they just having a moment. So anyway, hey, ho squad. So it's time for some favorites and fails. I'm going to see if I'm going to wind up doing this in two parts because I got a lot of stuff. Um, because we know I don't do monthlies. I stopped doing that because I find that that is just, I just really think that for me, this is for me personally. It was just too stressful from the standpoint that I was trying to come up with stuff that I could do every month. Oh, this is my favorite. And saying I'm using stuff all the time. I'm really not. You know, I'm not in that space anymore. I'm not in that beauty space. And I also feel like certain things just need more time to be tried before I say, yes, I love it. Ooh, yay. So for me, they come up when they come up. And I got a lot of stuff. So I said, let's just go and do this right now. So we're going to talk about lifestyle stuff. We're going to talk about makeup and skincare and, of course, fragrance. Now, if it runs too long, I will cut the fragrance and do that in a separate video because I don't want this to be like an hour. Okay, so let me see how fast I can get through stuff. Y'all know I've talked a lot. So let's get started. All right, so as always, we like to rip that bandage off and get rid of the fails real quick so we can have we can go into the good stuff. Feel free to tell me any of your fails lately to put it on my radar so I can see like, mm, I don't want that. All right, so here we go. Um, let's start with skincare. A couple of things. This is the Acura Brightening Eye Serum Stick. Here's why it's a fail. It has coffee seed and oil to subaki seed oil and everything it's compostable packaging because this is um a cure i might just pull everything out here's my problem with it i don't know if it's a good product because the delivery is so annoying so it says eye serum stick you know i think i'm just gonna you know smooth it on no you have to rub it on your finger and then pat it on that's not no so yeah so that was a fail Next skincare fail is this. This is the Hand Skin Vitamin C Glow Serum. Now, I've heard about this. It's supposed to be a really great glow uh, vitamin C serum. Here's why. It was breaking me out. I tried it two, maybe three times, and I was getting these huge pimples that I don't ever get. So, yeah. Um... So, uh, and I was like, okay, let me see if it's, if this is it. So I only use products that I use. I took out the product. It, it, yeah. So it, it was breaking my skin out. So it doesn't play nice with other things. Maybe it plays nice with, of course, hand skin products, but it doesn't play nice. And I'm used to stuff that plays nice with other things. So it was, mm -mm, it was a fail. All right. So let's talk. Oh, 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 before I forget, let me show y'all this. This is a lifestyle fail. So I bought some things from Timu and I should, and the Timu haul should have been up ages ago, but it wasn't. And I've been trying this stuff out, but let me just show you this fail. This right here. Now this is, you know, for delicates that you put in the wash to, you know, make sure they don't get harmed in the wash. So you could put it in with stuff, right? Well, let me tell you why this is a fake construction. This is fine. But when you put it in the wash and use it, the zipper opens up and everything falls out. So there's no point in having it because, yeah, it's so no, it's got to go. So, yeah, and I'm finding Timu, I'm, I know everybody's talking about Timu, but that's because Timu paying, y'all. Timu is paying because it's trying to pay me. But um, I don't know. I'm just not feeling Timu. That's just the honest truth. All right, then I got some makeup fails. Not based on they're bad 
formulas, but the colors just don't work for me. Most of them, but this one. Let me tell you first. Let me go to this one first. This is the NYX Fat Lip Oil. Now, I didn't heard too many people talking about this. Oh, it's so fabulous. It is absolutely not. It is not. I'm so tired of people, this whole, you know, when shit gets popular, everybody wants to act like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. You know, the oil, the lip oils are in, you know, oh, they condition and everything, whatever. This is not good at all. I mean, I was like, what's the point of it? It's just goofy. It don't do shit. It don't stay on your lips. It's kind of thick. Um, the color ain't that great because people like, it gives you a nice tint of color. Shut up. Okay, quick line. Okay, so that's that. Then these two from Juvia's Place. Um, this is the lip gloss and the lipstick. Now, I absolutely adore Juvia, Juvia's Place, um, their, um, lipstick formula. Ooh, these are good. It's a matte, but it's a very comfortable matte. Putting on, it's nice and soft. However, and look at this pattern on here. Is that cute? But this thing, this is the color for this one. It looks like, it looks like baby diarrhea. It might look cute on somebody and everybody's like, oh, you can put on, you know, put it with lip line. I'm not doing all that. She looks like, it, no, it looks like baby diarrhea. And then this one is the lip gloss, and their lip glosses I'm finding are nice too, but it's the color. This one looks like I am casket ready. It's a little too cool tone. It's it looks like I'm a cat. It looks like I'm casket ready on my lips. So no, can't wear that one. And finally, fail is Sydney Grace. This is her cream blushes. Now, the blush, once again, the formula is fine. It's the color. This one right here, another too cool tone, too grayish overcast. Yeah, this don't work for me. So this one was called I Choose You. It's no, I don't choose you. I don't choose you. I, 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 I rebuke you. No, no. Now, I am going to send these to a friend to see if they like it because the products are fine it's just not for me all right so now let's get into some beauty um the, the stuff i like my favorites let's get into the favorites y'all so we're gonna start out with hair care because i only have one product this time because i'm using pretty much a lot of the same products that i always use if you all would like me to talk about hair care one good time let me know so let's talk about it this is, now y'all know we back into mooses. The, sis, the, the sisterhood is back into mooses. So this is the mousse of choice right now. Now I know there's a couple that I need to get. Put them in the comments for me so I remember what they are. I think design essentials I heard and something do something. Okay. But anyway, this is Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse by TGIN. And that's exactly what it does. It does give you the hold. It gives you that, but it's not too stiff, which is what we want with mousse anyway. And it then also gives you um, a nice um, hydration on your hair so your hair doesn't get crunchy. Because mousses can be crunchy and, you know, dry out your hair. Well, no, honey, this is doing the business. So this is TGIN Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff for lifestyle. I'm going to switch it up. We're going to do skincare first because I don't have as many skincare. Because I'm trying to like build up. I'm trying to get y'all to build up. All right. So skincare. A couple of things I have that are kind of new to what I've been using. So let's just talk about them. Shut up, Louise. So we have the Tony Moly I'm Rice Exfoliating Enzyme Cleanser. This is a really gentle... Um, it does cleanse your skin. So you, this is like a two-step process already so it cleanses your skin and then it also exfoliates but the exfoliation is mild so it's not like that super abrasive it's thinking of like tatcha and everything those cleansers but it's even more it's very gentle so this isn't going to get you that super exfoliation but what it's going to do is you know, give you a nice gentle exfoliation. Like I don't need to exfoliate to the guys because I do so, you know, I, I'm really pretty good with my skincare. So this is the I Am Rice Exfoliating Enzyme Cleanser. Oh my goodness, I forgot a hair care product. 
I'm going to show it to you right now. So there's, let me show you this. So I've been trying to, you know, be a little cuter with my hair. And so I decided that I wanted to roll it up a little more, but I get tired of the, the, the flexi rods and things like that. So I saw these and everybody's doing it like, you know, no heat curls. And they act like it happens in 30 minutes. I don't know. My hair ain't a part of that ministry. But anyway, I bought these. Now, these are kind of old school. These used to be out. I forget what they were called back in the day. But I think I had them back in the day. But these are basically a nice pillow kind of roller. I know people are... If I see one more hack of some shit that's been around for fucking centuries. Y'all... Kelly sent me this hack. I'm so tired of these young people acting like they doing some shit that ain't never been that ain't never happened before. She sent me this motherfucking hack of a girl rolling her hair with sponge rollers, and it was a considered a hack. And then people tried to clean up there because it was like, um, what? They were like, no, this hack is that she's not rolling her hair all the way up so it's not tight. You think that nobody ever did that before? First off, you act like ain't nobody ever fucking used a sponge roller. And then you act like everybody rolled them up super tight so that they... Anyway, let me get off of that. I'm so over this bullshit. Everyone talking about they got a fucking hack. Okay, so anyway, these are, you know, just nice sponge rollers. But the difference is, you know, you... Because this is basically a sponge roller. And then you just, you know, turn. Now, here's the thing with these. You do need to put them tight enough on your hair. So these are not the kind that you're going to do just the bottoms, really, because they will slide off. However, if you put them on, roll them up, you're going to get the nice curls. And they're going to stay. And the thing is, is that this, these are easy to sleep on. And that's what I was looking for, something easy to sleep on. So these are what I got um, from Amazon. Don't worry, I'm a, uh, they will be in my Amazon store. So don't uh, you can look for them by the time you all see this. This will be in the Amazon store. So I have that. Um, and then we have, so now back to skincare. So skincare. Now this is in the bathroom because certain things I do in the bathroom wash you know wash my face however some you know what sometimes we just need to move fast you know we need to move fast but we do need to do something good for ourselves and I know some of you all aren't gonna spend the amount of time I do on my skincare so here I got this for you this is called Freeman in shower warming mask okay y'all so let me tell you about this this is really good so what happens is you wash your face beforehand dry and then you put this on before you get it in the shower so you can multitask because you know we sometimes you got to multitask and so this what happens is it actually comes it's a gel when you put it on and as you're in the shower it turns like like almost an oil and it's very warming on the skin i think it has ginger in it if i'm not mistaken yeah it has ginger in it which is good for the skin it's got collagen it's got glycerin so while you're so it's like warming on your skin and it's just really giving you this really really nice softness to your skin and hydration so and the collagen helps to firm up so this is like first off is super inexpensive this isn't like old groundbreaking but if you need something and you're trying to get out of the house quickly and you want something that works with, really well in the shower the steam helps to like you know really help it to penetrate your skin and then when you're done you just rinse it off and your skin is good for the day or for the next couple of days so this is freeman's in shower warming mask now, this year I've been trying to use up samples that I get. You know, you get all these skincare samples all over the place. Sample, sample, samples. So, with doing that, I decided to use some. This this round was Estee Lauder. Because, you know, Estee Lauder is old school. And, honey, Estee Lauder been around forever. And I just never got around to her. So, let me talk about a, few, a couple of products I got. This is the Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate. Y'all, I need a bottle. Of, I'm I'm about to buy a bottle of this because this stuff is this stuff is good. Um, honey, this is good. This is good, 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 good. Honey, it's like 
Okay, so let me just say this. Um, it has really, now what I've been doing is I have not been using any other eye cream but this at night. So I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to zoom in. See how I did that for y'all? I'm going to zoom in and let y'all see my, see, see how my skin looking? So the skin is looking good under my eyes. Honey, I am so impressed. And then I finally used this cult classic that everybody loves. And I, I haven't used it before. And Lord knows I got enough of these for um, probably a full bottle. Essay Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Okay, okay, Estee. I see you. I see you. It does what it says it's going to do. It does absolutely. It's a really, you know, it, honey, the skin looks good. Skin is feeling firm, you know, helps with these fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, Miss Estee. I see you. I see you. I see you. All right. So I think that's it for skincare that I want to talk about right now. That's all the skincare favorites that were kind of new not my usual not my regular smugglers but some new stuff so that is it for skincare all right so now let's talk makeup i'm getting back into my makeup but honestly i'm kind of doing these things a little differently i'm going for a, like a little more easy easy looks i'm not you know yes i can do cut creases and all that but on a daily just trying to get out the house and look look cute got to got to speed it up and make it work so with that i've been buying some different products and wanted to try some new things so let's talk about them some of the favorites that i found that i'm into now now my process is a little different i've been doing this kind of reverse processing process vibe if you want to see it let me know i'll show you um but anyway but i got to figure out how to do it so i'll talk about that in unedited because i got to talk about that Anyway, anyhow, anywho, let's get into makeup. So I'm going to start. So the thing is, I've gotten into creams and creams and liquid, more liquid pro cheek products because I've, I've pretty much always been like more into powders. But I'm going to start you out with the powders first. So let's talk about this. Um, like I've been doing like, hey, we got to get it together. Let's have just one palette. So I've been using, I love good one palettes now. I've been using this Hourglass palette. It was part of their, this is not available now. However, every Christmas, around Christmas time, they come out with a new set palettes. These um, edited, unlocked ones. The good thing is now, <laughs> Hourglass finally figured out people got different color. You know, we got different complexions. So they're coming out with different ones. So even though this has butterflies on it, this is actually the tiger one i think um and this so this is this palette right here so it has everything in it it's got a bronzer it's got blushes you can use those on your eyes because you know so if i'm in a trying to run want to just put on some i got this and um if you don't know anything about hourglass yes they are pricey but they are worth it and the reason why I say they're worth it, because if you want to have a really natural yet beautiful vibe, if you want to have your makeup on, but you don't want to look like you, like the makeup is wearing you, this the hourglass is perfect for that because their formulation is very ethereal. Um, you know, it has this ethereal vibe to it. And that's the one of the darker ones. But of course you can build them up, but they really do give you that i'm just that healthy glow um if you do it right so that is hourglass um this is the ambient lighting edit unlocked like i said this one is no longer available however they will have another one out this year so just you know check them out now i have really gotten into more liquid products so let's talk about them like i have never used liquid bronzer cream bronzer but i said let me try some so i got the elf one and this is the putty bronzer and their putty I, it, um line is really good so this is the one i've gotten that i've been using and this one is bronzed bell really good works really well the thing i'm looking for is the color to be right and be a cool tone bronzer because I'm just being real. The them warm tones be looking like make focus look like they like kind of clownish because it's got them orange undertones. So I like a cool tone bronzer so I can do a little 
a little low-key contouring so that's that now the other things i have from elf and you know if you are just getting into makeup or don't want to spend a lot elf is elf get you some elf i got these this is the monochromatic multi-stick now we know that you know people be talking about dupes but honey elf, elf been duping everybody forever they don't play they don't even care they dupe everybody so this is the monochromatic multi-stick think nude sticks and i bought a bunch of these and i am in love with them this one is called glimmering guava so you just put it on and then you can just um you know uh blend it really easy it blends really easy the color is intense this has a little sheen to it so it is serving up up what i need and so those are the elf ones then i also picked up um some flower bomb liquid lipsticks from flower and flower has had these around forever so it's so interesting how you know how things listen people acting like this shit didn't exist until they said it on tiktok but these have been around forever they were really popular for a minute and they're worth it they're not expensive see what i'm saying he sounds like somebody killing him he probably just wants something he probably wants some juice so these are nice. So if you're looking for, they are very pigmented. So you have to be, don't use too much. This one is cinnamon. You know, so you're going to use a small amount. Don't use too much because the, these got some. And this one could definitely be used as a bronzer vibe. But you see how pigmented it is if you like them orange ones. Now, I personally like this for a blush because it's a little brown. It's a little warm toned. Not the ones I wear for, you know, those purposes. All right. So that is, um, that is that. Okay. Now let's talk some highlighters. Now, of course, I've had this one for years. I've had the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, and it is awesome. I've also had some dupes over the years. You know, they go in and out. Um, I guess people really weren't into them, but now again, we're back into them. And e.l.f. has come out with theirs, and they call it the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. You know, and they, once again, ain't got no problem letting you know what they do. For. So it's very much like the Charlotte Tilbury. It has the big doe foot applicator now there's a couple of ways you can use this you can just put it on your pulse points and get that natural glow or you can use it all over your face and it'll give you a natural glow it's up to you um how you do it you can mix it with your foundation or as a highlighter or under or over your makeup when i use it i tend to do it under my makeup just to give me especially if i'm feeling like i'm dragging and just give me a nice glow to my skin um and then i do all the rest of my makeup but you can like i said you can mix in with your foundation however you want to use it it works now other highlighter i have is this and this is the jordan now this she's expensive she's expensive but they had a deal during nordstrom sales so that's why i bought them because it was two of them for like 50 something dollars but anyway this is the fluid sheer glow enhancer this is by Giorgio Armani. Yes, I can be luxurious, honey. I could do some luxury. And I ain't quiet about my luxury. No, I'm just joking. Um, but anyway, I like it. First off, I've always... My old my OG hoes know that the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is one of my OG favorites. Especially in the winter time. I wear it a lot. I do need to get a new bottle of it. I've had it forever, so I need to get rid of that one. But let me show y'all this. So, it's just, it's a very fluid. It is fluid. It's definitely, and, but look at this color. Now, the ones I got is this one, which is 10. I forget the color on it, the name on it, but this is 10. And then that, the other one I got is pink, which would be more for one at a time. But what it is, it's a really beautiful highlighter but once again it's very natural so if you struggle with highlighter because you be feeling like you look like somebody splat smacked you in the face with it this is perfect because it'll give you a really nice glow but a very natural glow so that is 
the Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer by Giorgio Armani. Uh, oh, and then we have this. This is Maybelline Super Stay Skin Tint. So this is for you if you want to, it will give you coverage, but it's super lightweight. It's like a medium coverage. Now, I know I've seen people showing it where it's, they've gotten full coverage. That's because they've taken the shit off. And let's remember that when we're looking at these people online, you're seeing them on a camera. We need to see them in, in real life to see how this shit looks. But anyway, this is a skin tint. Um, this My color is, what is the color did I get it in? Where's my color at? I don't even see the name, y'all. What did I buy? I don't remember. Uh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so this is a skin tint, um, which means it is a little more, it has vitamin C, so it's a little more, um, let's just be honest, this makeup, but it is a little better for your skin. And this is for somebody who doesn't need to or doesn't want to wear something super thick, super full coverage. But you still want coverage. You still want to have on a nice base. So this is the skin tint. Now, these are no longer available. But I'm going to use these up and then pick up the new ones. These are my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin powder foundations baby these are so good i like powder foundations honey i was a mac studio fix powder foundation girl for year, for decades and this has taken over and i still like the laura geller uh, balance and brighten this is a good one too y'all don't sleep on it but and she always got a sale but so they have reformulated i don't know how the new one is i'm gonna try it out once i use these up because i'm not gonna not use these to get something new i'm just not so once these are gone um i will use them up my 405 is almost done now, i'm telling y'all i use these i'm starting to use the 375 i also had y375 which is a little bit lighter so what i've been doing lately is like mixing them because this is a little dark but this is kind of light, so I've been mixing them. Now, this is my whole new look, and I have to show. I'm gonna have to show it to you. Is I do my creams first and do a really whoo, snatched vibe, and then I put on my powder foundation over it because it brings it down to a more natural look, and it lasts all day. Because once you put this on, I put some um, Studio Fix and then my setting spray, this lasts and this does give you up to medium coverage. It's a really flawless vibe. And with it, because of course I am now in love with these, which are these right here from, uh, these, pow these powder, these powder puffs. These are a game changer and I am in love with them. I got these on Amazon. I got a whole set of them. Love them, love them, love them. So that is for that. Now let's talk eyes. Okay, so let's talk eyes. Not a lot going on, but I want to give y'all some hit, some stuff to think about. Put on y'all radar. <laughs> so I picked up a few eyeshadow palettes. No, I have not used them all, but that, that's not let's not judge. This one though by Huda Beauty is called Naughty. Who she is pretty. I have actually used her already, and um, this is a really stunning just. Um, really good fall neutral tones warm tone Huda does make very good makeup I will not lie I like her stuff I got a lot of her stuff um, but yeah this is the naughty palette I got this on a sale I think at uh, Sephora really good pricing but yeah I'm in love with it so here's that now I've been doing really quick looks and one of the ways to do it is with cream eyeshadow so some of my favorites are my Sydney Grace um, cream eyeshadows. Sydney Grace is an indie brand. She's been around forever, but I love her cream eyeshadows. Now I have some older colors that aren't quite available now, but let me show you. But she, um, she has, I think she renamed some of them and changed some of them a little bit, but let me show you. You really have to be real careful with these though. You only need like a little dot. Let me show you what I mean by a little dot. I mean a little dot. You see how much that is? But watch when I move it around. When I move this around, you see that? 
You see that color? So yeah, so she's, so they're good. Like if you just need to get some color on and they're really good, they give you enough time to move them around and they stay on all day. They're really gorgeous on. Now, these type of fragrance, these were in, but they're not, but I still have mine. And I found out this still is good. This is Lorac. These are their, what do they call them? I, it's like their cream shadows. I don't remember the name, but this one in particular is called Lace. I checked. It still is available, I think, on Ulta. The last time I looked, about a month ago. Now, look at this color. This is so stunning. And I've had this thing for years. And I just knew this stuff was going to be dead in the water. And I was going to have to find it. Because this is so cute on. This is one of those, you just want a little sparkle on your eyes. Like, for real, for real. You don't even have to put on nothing else. You could just put a little of this on your lids with your lashes and some a little eyeliner and this is so pretty it's just a very sparkly just gives you a little sparkle on the eyes not too much love it have loved it for years all right so that's i care lip products let's hit these lip products so i bought a few um i did really good during um uh what is it called the lipstick day i only bought some what i bought was a bunch of juvia's place we know this and so let me show you the ones that i really 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 love of the lipsticks that i bought let me find the colors okay so these are the two i'm going to show you like i said i really do love her um chi chi's uh juvia's places um lip formulation really good last song is easy to put on so i bought all of the whatever it was called i can't remember what this one is called um but anyway what is it called it is called the i don't know the name of this one <laughs> but anyway it was a whole set because the price was so cheap i think she had it for like five dollars and sixty cents so i bought them all but anyway this is morocco let me show y'all this color Look at that beautiful kind of terracotta color. That's going to be so pretty in the fall, y'all. Y'all see that? Okay, so that's terracotta. And then this is soil. And look at that orange. So these are some of the ones I bought. I bought the whole set of them all. There was only that one that I really just really didn't enjoy of that. And then I bought the glosses. You saw the first gloss that I did not like. Hold on. All right, so let's talk glosses right quick. I have, I've been living for glosses in the last few years, so let's just talk the glosses. So the Juvia's Place glosses that were just like the killer ones. I have another one I think that I like, but this is Oasis and this is Mirage. Baby, these are so cute, especially Mirage. Let me just put this on while y'all sitting here with y'all. So these are so adorable. Do y'all see that? Mm -mm, these are so cute. So anyway, yeah, Oasis and Mirage are the two. And this is the funny one because this is the gold one. This was the one I was like, mm, I'm not going to really like this one. But on, let me just swatch this for y'all so y'all can see. Do you see how gorgeous this is? This is so pretty on the lips. So don't sleep on these. These are really gorgeous. Now, of course... Um, lifter Maybelline lifter gloss came out with some new glosses and I love the lifter glosses the lifter glosses have hyaluronic acid in them your lips feel so soft now all these people talking about stuff about how does all these things do it I'm telling you now you ain't got to spend that much get the lifter glosses they've got a huge range now I got almost all of them but anyway the the color is so beautiful and they your your lips feel so soft and they're filled in it's not like it's plumping but what it honestly does with the hyaluronic acid if you have like it makes your lips just a little naturally more soft more supple and a little more plump so anyway they had some new ones come out um and then now if you're looking for these they do have my Ulta. do lifter gloss as your as the um in the search 
because these are different when they're like candy shop or something there's some other name to these but anyway i got gummy bear and i got peach ring these are so cute oh my goodness these are so good now the other ones that i've been wearing a lot lately of course is this one is reef this is a really super natural one that's really perfect for every day and then i also have been wearing a lot of this one it's called brass but do y'all see this this don't look brass it's such a like kind of iridescent pinky vibe on your lips so those are the lifter glosses and finally i have something else which is so surprising um where's it at and then I got this and I actually do like it. This is the Benefit Beach Vacay Butter Bomb. I have it in Vacay Coral. I only bought one to try it out because I got to be honest, I'd be like, y'all be tripping on these bombs and be trying to charge too much. But this is actually a cute one. You know how people be like, oh, the bomb does the color. This actually does have the color. So it's a nice, pretty coral right there. You know, just a nice corally, peachy, corally vibe on your lips. And it does, you know, it stays on long. And it's kind of, it's semi-moisturizing. I ain't going to say, I will say this, hands down, the lip the glosses um, are the best glosses to me out there. For the price point, for what they do for your lips, I'm sorry, don't nobody beat lip the glosses. And that includes Buxom, and I love Buxom. Oops, I almost forgot some lip balms. Two of them. These are like clear lip balms. Just strictly about the, you know, keeping your lips nice and moisturized. This is the Hemp's Lips Ultra Moisturizing Herbal Lip Balm. This is a good one. Uh, Hemp's can be a little expensive, but this one isn't that bad. So it has hemp seed oil in it, but it's actually very hydrating to the lips. Keeps your lips moist and everything. Very good. Now, I bought some Perlier. Um, lip balms and this is the one that I really love this is the super moisturizing lip jelly it's got shea it's a shea butter one you can tell because it's all messed up this is so good for my lips you know I it keeps your lips soft gives you nice gloss if you just want a little glossy lip I love this one I have the um elixir one it's a little more expensive but honestly this is the better one of the two this is the one I really like all right that is it for makeup let's keep it moving y'all i see this is gonna be two parts i'm gonna have to put that in the beginning because i still i'm doing lifestyle now and i got a lot of stuff i'm trying to show y'all so let's hit it all right so here are lifestyle things that i've been loving in the last <laughs> few months let's get started with these rings on my finger let me show you my new rings so here are my rings some new rings i got recently um these i get from a vendor a seller in India. I get them off of eBay. Super expensive. I think I paid like less than 15 for these with shipping. Um, and if you want to know about them, let me know. I will uh, put the name up here. They're called Jim XC. I'm going to put the name up. I'm going to remind myself to do that. Um, and so just do a search on eBay. And you want to make sure you get Jim XC because a lot of companies are co opting their name in order to get people to buy from them and they're not as good a quality because I got caught one time like that. So you want the Gem XE. So yeah, so I got those. Now, what else? Let's hit this lifestyle hard. I got lots of stuff. All right, um, these are some headphones for me for when I'm, you know, my phone. Now, using them, trying to use them to like do stuff hasn't worked out. But just for what they are, which are headphones for me to wear and listen to things, are awesome. And the reason why they are is because I have an Android. I have the Samsung S22 Ultra. So don't come for me like, I don't even need to get an iPhone. I don't. It's, it's a great phone. But, and they do have the small ones like the AirPods. However, I have to be honest with myself, I don't lose them bitches. So I wanted something a little bigger that would just really be in my ear. I know I'm not as cool as everybody else but I like these and they were pink and th th this charge lasts forever. I charged it once. I still ain't charged again. It's been over a month. So that's those. Then, Oh, let me show you these. These are underwear. These are from this company called cheek boss that I saw on, of course, some, it came up in some ad and I went and looked at them. And so they were like, Oh, they're so comfortable and they stretch 
the you you get no panty lines and they are these are some very comfortable panties so what it was they had like two pair i think it was i got for like shipping so it was like seven dollars or something but anyway am i gonna buy some more i absolutely am i haven't bought any more but i plan on buying them but i do like them they are so comfortable they are just like you know they don't even feel like i have them on there's no lines they're just soft so those are cheek boss and they spell it just like that that's it all right I'm going to find a picture because I ate them. <laughs> but Trader Joe's Lacey's Cookies. I cannot buy these anymore for now. I cannot. I cannot buy them until I lose some weight. and Because they are addictive. They are this chocolatey, buttery. I used to get something like these from the Amish when they used to come to the, um, to the farmer's market. But it's kind of like... It's... The ones, I got to be honest, the Amish ones are a little bit different and a little bit better because they're really good. But these Lacey's are addictive. Um, so I can't buy them right now because I will kill them damn things. So I'm going to try to find a picture. They're from Trader Joe's. They're ridiculously good. So the Lacey's. Now, let's talk tea. I have gone back to loose tea for a while. I really wasn't using loose tea because I was just being lazy and just, it was easy to buy but now I started drinking my loose tea and I was like, girl, what have you been doing? So I'm gonna tell you about a brand called Plum Deluxe. They sent me this a long time ago. I know I talked about it years ago, but honey, Plum Deluxe is so good. Of course they had a stale date on them, but I've used them since then and they fine. So the one I used up, cause they say best by last year. No, May of this year. Well, I just finished it and it was delicious. This one is the self-care blend herbal tea. Oh my goodness. I was doing this at night and I just felt so relaxed and so fabulous. This has um, honey bush tea, elderberries, apricots, apple pieces, marigold, apricot essence, love, gratitude, and no caffeine. Oh my goodness. This stuff is so good. It was so delicious. I've also used this one a lot. Lavender daydream white tea. Y'all, this is good. Now, for, and these aren't that expensive. And the thing is, if you're a tea drinker, you understand. Once you get back into loose teas, the, the teas that, the, the teas in the bags ain't going to work that well for you. And somebody gave me, and I don't know where they're at. I actually have, if you want to use your loose teas and take them with you someplace, you can actually buy tea bags to put them in. I have some. My boss gave me some. I, if, if I can find them, I'll make sure. Well, I know where they are. I'll make sure I put them in the next favorites. I'll put that in my next favorites list. But yeah, these right here. Now, my friends were so sweet to me to buy this tea for me. Two of these. So I'm just going to show you one. This is Magic Hour. This is the Aries tea. Now, they sent me another one. Uh, these are incredible. First off, it's about the aesthetic of it too. If you get the whole setup and then you can refill this after you use it up. I'm starting to drink these all the time because it's just the look, baby. The look is just too much. This is about tea ceremonies and feeling good. And I say, girl, you need to just go and drink because I was like, I don't have the right space. It's not together, honey. It'll be together in a minute. But right now I just put this and drink it. And it is gorgeous. This one has... Um, oolong cloud mist it has oolong green tea two green teas rosebuds natural blackberry extract vanilla these are very strong i have to be careful with them because you got to keep this ribbon in or they will get stuck but when you smell them oh my god it is intoxicating it is some of the best tea out there it's just gorgeous oh my god um so yeah and, it, and it's not just the tea but it's the aesthetic of it the beauty of it that just makes me go oh yeah yeah i want more of these i think i'm, I'm gonna buy a few more of these because they're just too much and they have all different types of teas so you they have the zodiac ones they have the goddess ones they have so many to choose from that it's just it's addictive i'm trying not to because you know me y'all know me y'all know me <laughs> <laughs> and on top of it, they're 
other products are so gorgeous too so this is you know the tea infuser so this one is so gorgeous this guy this color i have another one they sent me too but then this one you know you do it like this so it locks the top on well no it really doesn't um not that it matters so you then you fold these out so it sits in your teacup and this is really good for somebody like me because i drink large amounts of tea and i need it to sit across a wider teacup so this kind of helps with the wider teacups perfect so this is my tea okay last up on i think on the lifestyle i think this is it for lifestyle let me look at my list yes okay here's the thing one thing i'm gonna show you i should be showing you is my glasses i got some i love these glasses the only thing is i did get the no line bifocals and i'm still struggling on understanding how to move my eyes to further so i can see out of them all the time but I'm going to put a picture because I can't find them. Y'all, I lost my damn glasses. They in the house. I don't know where they at. I'm praying that Brooklyn didn't throw them away because she has a tendency to put things in the garbage. So please pray that she did not put these extremely expensive glasses. And then, then I got to find out does my insurance cover loss, losses or is it just damage? Because if it covers loss, I might just go and have to get a new pair. If I don't find them in a month, I'm going to get a new pair. But anyway, let's go back. So I've been trying to be a tad more put together organization wise so i bought myself all of these organizers now i know i could do it digitally and everything but i need to write things down i am a writer of things down so i bought myself one i've i've shown it to you before but i have my personal one that i have to work on today and then i have my one for school so this is what who they might maybe buy this is the clever fox teacher planner I am in love with this one um, because it has checklists in it so I can put my checklist in right here um, and then it also has which I'm going to be doing and then it has you doing your monthly planners then it has you know so I can put the, the month information but what it also has is a communication log on the front it's got the important dates that I can put in it's got the schedule of school events so I can put those in for the year. Student information that I need to put in as I need as I'm doing it. Um, my communication log with parents, so I can put down when I've called them and you know before I put it into. I have to put for me um, for my case because I am a special ed teacher and I have a caseload. When I talk to my parents, I have to upload that information into their legal documents, which is their IEPs. So this is a good way for when I'm doing it, I'm going through them all. I can just do it here and then I can transfer them because that's what I need to do this week. So this week will be getting transfer. But I'm trying to make sure that I keep up with things. And then it also has the week of. So I have my monthly ones and then I can put stuff in here, my month and year notes that I'm working on. So it's really good. So I'm in love with it. So I have this one. Then I said, OK, I'm working on some projects. And then I wanted to have a to-do list. So I found this just a to-do list. Uh, did I? I started on one. What the heck did I do with it? I thought I put one in here. I don't know what I did with it, y'all. I thought I started on one. Uh, matter of fact, I did. Okay, let me show y'all. <laughs> so it's a to-do list, right? And the to-do list looks like this. Yeah, I did start one. So um, I'm not going to show y'all what I wrote but let me show y'all an empty page so you can date them and you can take them out so if you want to hang them up but it's got i'm grateful for top priorities the to do's the deadlines appointment meetings special days notes that you want to put in about that to-do list like i'm going to be using this for honestly i'm going to be using this for like i got to put down stuff i want to get for the kids you know um working on projects for my social media that i'm trying to start really doing and things like that so that is the to-do list now on top of it then of course you gotta have stickers now they did give me all stickers the the clever planner gave me some really cool ones for school so i love them and then i bought some more stickers and this was the sticker sheets for daily planners that had all of these different types that i could put in there you know all of these so i wanted to have some more because i'm really trying to 
really keep up with things now. And then I reached out to my planner friends and asked them what type of pens should I get. And they told me about these. These are the Tool, T-U-L. So I bought these, I bought a set and I am in love with them. These are gel, gel pens. These are the best pens I've ever had. They, you know, gel pens, they don't skim. They're very easy. They're, you know, they don't glob. It's, oh, I love these pens. I'm like, why would, didn't I have these before? So those are the pens. All right, so that is everything lifestyle that I wanted to share. I think this is a really long video, but I'm about to do the fragrances. I'm going to see how long I take with that. If it don't seem too long, this will all be one video. If it does seem too long, the fragrances will be by themselves. So we'll see what happens. So this is my ending, just in case. So this is in case these are two parts. Hey, so thank you all for watching all um, my beauty, lifestyle, um, all, you know, makeup, skincare, all the things that I showed you today that are in my fave that I've been using a lot. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, my whole squad, thank you for watching. And if you are new watching and have gotten this far, I really appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe on your way out because I know you want to see some more because you made it this far. And as always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, I'm okay with saying have a great day. Have a great day.